All right, Brandon Willis from Brandon's Gym, Carlson Gracie Columbus in Columbus, Ohio. And uh, I was talking to one of my buddies, and we are thinking about um, the jiu-jitsu that kind of made jiu-jitsu cool. The neat old, old school stuff that you can still fight with, you know, when BJJ became popular. I always kind of gravitated towards those techniques, because that's why I wanted to do BJJ, um, you know, so I could really fight with it. So a lot of the uh, new, really competition specific stuff, I'm not as interested in, um, you know, cause some of it's not as pertinent to the fight game. But anyway, we've been talking about half guard top this week a lot. You know, um, I had an earlier video about like clearing the knee out, you know, before we start passing, you know, if the guy's got room, I'm gonna have to deal with that. For me, a lot of times, I'm just gonna push it out of the way. It might be a little bit of a fight, but I'll push it out of the way and then come in and get my underhook. You know, if I can't get the underhook, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Maybe we can talk about that in another video, but for the sake of this one, let's just say we got it. I'm gonna get my underhook. I go in here and get my underhook and the head grip. I'm, I can flatten them out. Then I'm gonna come under, hold his collar here, hold his elbow. Then I'm gonna bring my head to this side. When I do, I can straighten my legs. And what I'm doing, that you might not be able to see is I'm taking my right thigh, the very top of it, putting it down a little bit, putting it into the groin on his right leg. So I'm taking this part of my leg and pushing it into his leg right here. Holding his key, head on the left, hold his elbow, and I'm, put, I'm turning my hips a little this way and dropping my right leg into his. That brings his leg down. Then what I can do, I put my foot on his knee and I'm gonna tripod up just enough. While I do it, I'm turning my hips to this direction. Tripod up, boom, just enough. Now I'm gonna cut my knee to the outside. Once I achieve that, I'm gonna make a step. I'm gonna keep pulling this and I'm gonna baseball slide through. An extra little thing that I like to do is I'll pick this up and put my leg underneath. That way it's like a, a ramp or a block. That's gonna make it double hard for him to turn into me. I'll take this, but if I get the chance, I'm gonna drive that in there. It brings us back a little bit off the mat. I might do the same thing on the other side, roll him towards me and make sure I put my forearm like this underneath his back, just to the right of his spine. So that way he's kind of held on both sides like this. Everybody uses the airplane tire example, how they put the wedges or the chocks on either side of the big airplane tire and it holds it in one spot. Back to what we're doing. I got my head on. I'm gonna make sure he's flat. I'm gonna bring my hand and bring it under his neck to his collar. Hold his elbow here, head on this side. I can straighten my legs, sprawl down a little bit, and put my right thigh into his thigh. I've got my head down and tight. I'm gonna bring my foot to the top of his knee. I'm gonna turn my hips outward just a little, so when I tripod up, I don't have to go raising my butt really high. I keep my base low. Oh. Get my knee out just a little bit, step, baseball slide through. And I'm going to pick this up, put my knee underneath it. I can reach over, roll them, and do the same thing on the other side. I can just keep my grip there. Well, the only other thing is, I can do the same thing. Right here, I can bring my hip, do all the same stuff we did, and instead of putting the bottom of my foot on the top of his knee, I can bring basically where the top of my foot and the shoelaces are, I bring that inside his knee. I make a little hook, if you can see that. I hook right inside here, like that. What I can even do is grab my own shin, place my toes inside there, and then go back to the elbow. That's another choice. 
And I can do the same thing. Just enough to get my knee free. He can still be holding onto my foot. I don't care. Step, slide, lift, and put my knee under. I think it's pretty easy. You gotta play with it a little bit to get your base just right. Just don't get your head and body too far away from the center line of his body. So I go here, just a little bit to the left. That's it. If I go too far, he can start framing on my face and it gives him space that I don't need to be giving him. So I hope you enjoy that. We're gonna practice that now. Uh, like the video, comment, ask questions, and of course, subscribe to the page. Thanks.